Okay, the last time we talked about the frame on this new car that I'm going to build, the 28 Delahaye, as of today, that's subject to change. But uh, since then, I've wire brushed the whole bottom of the uh, frame down. When I flip it back over, I got to do stuff like the transmission mount and all that. But uh, wire brushed it all down. Now I can see the places I missed that I'll go back and get. But then I sprayed Ospos on it to kill the rust and to keep it from rusting. And I did this about three days ago. The springs, I sprayed them with Ospos and they're not rusting either. So uh, this is getting closer. I hope uh, I'll flip it over this weekend and finish the top side, which I think I did already, but I'm not sure. And once I do that, then I'm gonna start on the axle, the rear end, and start putting it, uh, paint it first, and then start doing the stuff. Paint. All right, here we are back with a frame for the uh, car I'm gonna build that I intend to build. But I've been putting it together. I got the front axle and the coilovers on it. And uh, this holds the uh, straight axle in place and it's bolted to this coilover, but you gotta mount it up here and I can't mount it until I get weight on the front end where it pushes it down. So uh, that's it. I got the calipers and the uh, brakes on the front and uh, in the back, I've got the rear end in and uh, so I'm getting closer with that. The shocks are ready to hang, but again, I got to put some weight on it. That's a good mock-up already. Yes. Yeah. I'm, as soon as I get the uh, rear brake, the rear end in, I'll put the brakes, the calipers, and the loaders on it, which I've got over there. Then I'll start running the uh, brake lines for it. And then I got a uh, Mustang II uh, steering box, steering gear, whatever you call it. What's rack it called? Rack and pinion? Rack and pinion for it. And uh, I'll put it in. And then everything's going together. I'm happy. It's looking good. I'm feeling good about it. Cool. Ready to complete it. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Back at the Delay, I've uh, sold the 57 Ford, and this gives me time to work on this. I got the MG 98% done, so I'm back to the Delahaye. And a friend of mine, Kenny, he had this uh, 37 Ford grill that's in the West. I mean, this thing is absolutely perfect. It's a real Ford grill. It even when he first got it, it had the tag on it with the parts number. That sense gone away. Now, I'm trying to decide right now, if you want to come around the front of it, whether to put this grill on here, something like that, okay? And uh, be a little bit awkward mounting it, but I know how to do it. And, or, the original, the original type grill. Okay. This goes on the model, and it goes. This goes on here. Let me see it down over here. This is the original style grill, and it goes on here like this. And uh, you see how it looks. Yeah, I look pretty decent. Yeah, that yeah. looks dramatic though. For this one right here, looks decent. Okay, so I've got that. One. Now, what I did yesterday, I went out and got some uh, hard. Of course, it wouldn't be an exact Delahaye. It'd be pretty good though. Yeah, different. Yeah. And I. Uh, scale this thing out 
and this is what it comes to scaled out. This comes 18 inches across here, and it's 22 inches from here to here. And you can see the corners and the yeah. corner over here. So then the sides here, I'm going to uh, put metal from right here all the way around to this side and then do this same thing on this side. This is the pattern for it, for the metal. Mm -hmm. And I put it on this last night and measured everything out. So I went today and ordered the metal for it. Mm -hmm. And I'll get the metal tomorrow morning. I'm going to build that the reel. See how it works? Right. Nice. And you can see here. What if you contoured this a little bit? Like, instead of, because everybody will know what this is from. You see it. But let's say you welded a piece of metal to the back of it and then just cut this and then just kind of move this in a little bit so it's straight. I'll take that before the board. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> just I guarantee idea. you. Yeah. Before you that looks it. good, though. I like it that. Yeah. But but I, I, I like the original Delahaye. It looks cool. Yeah. But dang, I see that on there. It looks really cool. See how the, uh, the grill, this is cold on the grill. Right. right. So I'll get, I'll build this thing out of metal. I'll set it on here and see how it looks. Because if you look at this, the way the grill mounts, see how it's cut it up like that at the yeah. bottom. Okay, you look here, it follows that down. That perfectly too. Right. So here, when you put it on, you know, everything just fits together. That's going to be awkward to... Yeah, that will be... Actually, I think this will dramatically increase the level of difficulty. Yes. So. And this is very simple because you just put a piece of metal... There's no crazy bends or right. anything. Yeah. yeah, where this... And it is still to the original. And this originally... Uh, turn me on. I like that. Uh, yeah. Yeah. You know, yeah so. I like that idea of building it first. Yeah. Man, this is looking good down here, Fred. Yeah. Yeah, that can go for something else, though, you know? Oh, yeah. But that looks neat like that. Ugh. Yeah, it's just, uh, this ain't a done deal. Like yeah. When I do this, put it up there, and then I'm going to work some more on how to mount that grill where it's yeah. going to look funky. You can do, do that part last and do both of them. Well, you, you can make it re this removable. First. You got to do this first. Yeah. And you go okay. this way. Okay. Because you can't go this way and then you get it too far forward, too far back. All right. So, well, okay. Cool. Yeah. Neat. All right. But you can see where I've mounted. This is where the grill starts at. Mm -hmm. Going that way. Then I got here. The hood comes from here to here. Okay. Then the footwell is from here to here, and then the seat, everything inside, is from here to here, from the footwell to here. Mm -hmm. and then the tail goes out the back, and the uh, this thing almost measured out perfect. And the tail, it only came out about this far. I wanted to come out a little bit further. Right, that's the next question. Are you going to adjust the dimensions any? Yeah, the tail is okay. the thing that I plan on adjusting. And back here, I put a piece of flat metal and then put the tail on the top of it. Okay. You know, and probably come in here and miss the gas filler. Okay, and, uh, that'd be neat. Yeah. Cool. So I'm getting close. I've started on this, so today's what? Today, oh, yeah, we got to date it. Today is the uh, 13th of June, 2024. 13th June, yeah. yes. So. This is where I'm at. Once I get started, oh, I hope to have this thing finished in about three to four months. Okay, that's that's well, you already uh, got the rolling chassis, so that's not too bad. Yeah, it's just uh, body work that's uh, bending and forming and all that. And right, it's not that big of a deal. It is a big deal, but I'm not building a concourse yeah. replica, just something to drive and have fun right. with, huh? Yeah, Nate. And Put I'm Janice debating, in the passenger seat. <laughs> I'm debating on the intake. Uh -huh. I've got an intake for six twos. 